This is Ray with Country Set Eco Water. I'm going to show you how to change filters on a conventional reverse osmosis system where you do have to turn the water off, purge the pressure um, to do it correctly. So first thing we're going to do, you're going to find where your water comes in. That side is pretty much always going to be your pre-filter followed by a carbon block is the, is the normal um, sequence. So this one, if it was coming in on the left, then your pre-filter would be on the left followed by carbon block on the right. But in this case, the feed, the feed is coming in on the right. So we're going to turn that off. We're going to turn off the valve on the tank. It's off, or I just turned those off already. Off and off is 90 degrees to the, to the tubing. 90 degrees to the tubing is off. We're going to go upstairs. This system happens to be in a basement. We're going to open the RO faucet, which we already did. Once it stops dripping, we're just going to close it. We've depressurized the system, which is going to allow us to remove these housings much easier. If they're under pressure, um, just with the water off and you didn't purge the pressure, they'll be under pressure and they're very hard to remove at times and you could you could hurt a, an o-ring etc so they're depressurized we're going to remove these i've got a special strap wrench usually you've got a plastic wrench that the unit came with so i'm going to take these off i'm going to keep them in the same order i don't like moving housings around this is going to be the cleaner housing because it was the carbon block so we're just going to pour out this water that is a this is a carbon block filter it looks white, but that's carbon block, and it's still clean because it wasn't the primary filter. It's the secondary, so it, the, uh, the primary filter kept it in good shape. At This is a good time to put in a little bleach, rinse it out, and wipe it out with paper towels. All right, we're going to bleach out this container now. I've got my gloves on because I'm just going to put a little bit of bleach, a little bit of water. I'm going to take, I'm going to swish it around. Since I've got my gloves on, I can get in there. And I can sanitize the whole container just by, with the paper towel, just sanitizing everything. Everything's smooched with bleach. Pour that out. We'll give it a quick rinse. We don't have to be too perfect about rinsing the bleach because the carbon filter will prevent any bleach from hurting the system anyway. So that guy is sanitized. We'll go ahead and put a carbon block right back in him. We're doing filter number two. First, we could, do, we could have done filter number one first, it doesn't matter, just so you put the right filter in the right spot. The gasket's on here, don't lose that. Gasket's on the top. I'll tighten both up at the same time, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tighten it with the wrench yet. Now I'll go for position number one, pre-filter in our case. This should look like iron, possibly, yes, and it does. This is filter number one, and that, that was a white filter. Speck of bleach. Doesn't take much. A little bit of water. We'll do the paper towel. And I, again, I'm not going to worry about rinsing all the bleach out. Just a little bit. We're going to go ahead and put a pre filter back in this one. Five micron. There's no gaskets. This is. Just compression with the filter element itself. Pop this back in. I'm going to tighten both housings at the same time, individually. Just going to snug it up. Let's make sure that o ring's seated. And if it leaks, we'll find out very quickly when we turn the water back on. We're going to turn the water back on. We're going to reopen the tank valve. And then we'll do our purging from upstairs at the faucet. That's how you change filters on a conventional reverse osmosis unit. Every two years um, or so, I'm going to change this pre filter on the top. I don't change that every time. Um, this is the final polishing filter. And that can, go, that can go a bit longer. If you want, you could always put a Sharpie on there so you always keep track of the date on that. Um, this, these guys, depending on your water conditions, every six to eight months, again, for that pre-filter. Um, for sure, at least every year on this, but you could do them both at the same time, every six to eight months, uh, both filters. And then every other time, maybe do the, the post-carbon on the top. Um, thank you. This is a quick demo by Countryside Equal Water.